Donald Trump senior advisor and son-in-law Jared Kushner says that black people have to want to be successful, which is funny. I'm not really sure what he was thinking when he was when he said something like that. Most people want to be successful, including black people. <clears throat> One thing I can think of is Mr. Kushner comes from the ideology of, well, blacks are doing worse economically in this country um, <clears throat> because they just don't want it, because they're lazy, because they have no ambition. <clears throat> I maintain that when this country was set up, it was set up in a way to make sure that black people in particular, even more so than other ethnic groups, could not compete on an even level. And I'm guessing if you're not a black person, you probably believe that's an excuse, which is fine. You believe whatever you want to believe. I do know, however, growing up uh, as an athlete, I went to different neighborhoods and I couldn't ignore the fact that, hey, these people seem to have a lot better, a lot more than myself and others just like myself. Some people think it's genetics. I'm not gonna get into that. Those people are stupid. Um, you know, it hasn't been the best since the beginning. I'll put it to you like that. And it's getting better and better over the years. Things are getting better. And if you look at it economically, black people are doing a lot better than their forefathers have in the past. But um, more so than anything, it's a problem. If you look at one group and says, hey, hey, listen, we see that um, economically, they're not doing as well as some of these other groups, it's a problem. And problems need to be solved. So what do you do? How do you fix that problem? That's one thing I can say about Ice Cube. At least he was making an attempt to fix that problem. Um, politically, it hurt him in a lot of ways with a lot of black people. But still in all, he was trying to fix an issue that was out there. And you don't just ignore problems, you fix them. That's what most intelligent people do anyway. Uh, so if we say, well, we got to want to be success successful or got to want to, you know, do better. My thing is make it, give them, you know, make it easier, you know? So how do you do that? Well, uh, even to this day, when you look at the way schools are funded, instead of uh, schools being funded, at least in Illinois, where I live, that's how it is. Some schools are way better funded than others. Those schools tend to be white in white neighborhoods where it's not so many black people. Um, and then when you go to these black schools, it's like, wow, uh, you know, they don't have computers, they don't have, they lack resources in general. And um, recently I've seen some changes in, in, in uh, like where I live, there's an Amazon being built. And that was awesome. You know, you get economic opportunity uh, to come and, and, and impoverish neighborhoods and you can rebuild those neighborhoods and you have less crime, have less everything. So America should be making an investment in areas that we're lacking in. I'll put it to you like that. I'm not gonna go into how it happened and if it was, if it happened on purpose, uh, everybody's got their own opinions, but if you see that there's a problem in certain areas, you fix them. So this thing about not wanting to be successful, if you throw money at the problem and then nothing happens, there's no results, then you can make that argument. But it's a foolish argument to make, you know. What are you trying to say? You think that certain people of certain complexions don't want to be successful? They don't want to feed their families? They don't want to be looked at as a certain way in society? You know, maybe he didn't mean that. Maybe he just, people say stupid stuff all the time. That's how I look at it.